called the Mother of Eve. six or seven years I've been writing songs so um, it's good and it's bad in a way one thing is good is that I always can kind of lean on that vocabulary that I've learned from old time music um, the bad thing is you got to be careful where you get you can get into a rut if you keep playing one kind of music in a mm -hmm. sense but that's one of the things that um, all of these things from history and the Bible which to me the Bible is a kind of a history um, Somebody wrote that the, the Hebrews that wrote the Bible were very poetic, but the, 
people that interpret particularly the Old Testament now are not so poetic and they take it literally where as it seems to me that so much of what they wrote not all of it some of it's accounts of battles and yeah. a history of their own tribe but some of it is, is such great poetry and has so much so many levels and so it says so much but you have to read it and keep your mind open and so, uh, but it's not the only place I go. I go to also to um, occasionally Greek mythology and stuff like that, yeah. Wow. I try not to, one of the things I brought out in, in the book, which the album I tell you about, which is called Songs from the Other Great American Songbook, uh, is that uh, I did a song called Little Birdie, which is an old mountain love song. And I said, you know, if you look at the 17 songs, only something like five of them are devoted to love. But if you listen to the radio, everything's about love, romantic love, that is. And I think that so much out there that people could 